I hope you're well. So as on the title, I'm gonna be showing you some hamper ideas. These are ones I've put together. They are for two couples and um, I will leave previous years in, linked in the description bar because I do change them obviously slightly every year. But um, yeah, here are two ideas. Hopefully it might give you some inspiration and hampers are quite good for practically anybody. You could do hampers for siblings if you've got a niece and nephew or two nephews. Uh, just pop a few things in a little hamper. Um, you can do it for couples, you can do it even for like grandparents. Sometimes it's hard to know what people want for Christmas, but sometimes I find just putting a hamper together can be really kind of thoughtful and um, the possibilities are endless really what you can actually put in them. They can be as expensive and extravagant as you want or they could be super cheap. So um, yeah, I'd say mine is kind of middle of the road. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you what I've put in these. They are both just slightly different. Okay, so the first one is this one here. This crate is actually from Waitrose. They were doing the crates for £7 each or two for ten. So I ended up picking up two and I've used one here today for one hamper. Um, again, what I love about like picking up like a crate or kind of a wicker basket or something that's um, quite pretty you can actually reuse it and you know I like to think that they would actually go on to make a hamper for someone else or they can use it for like home storage or something so I always try and like think of and pick something nice to obviously use so this particular couple I have thrown in quite a few different things so I'm going to pull out each thing one by one the first thing I'm going to show you is the Monty Bojangles um, tr truffles. These are the Chocky Scoffy version. These are absolutely delicious. I haven't actually had them in ages myself, but they are really kind of luxurious truffles. They're actually selling them at the moment in Asda for £2 each. Um, per box for 150 grams. So again, they have a few different types. This is the Chucky um, Scoffy version, which is basically just plain truffle, um, but they have loads of different flavored ones, salted caramel versions, um, but I thought that'd be quite nice to add in. So I've put that box in. I've also added a little hand cream and nail file. This is actually from B&M. I think it was about a pound. Or oh, it might have been from Home Bargains actually, but I thought it was just something a little bit different. Most of the time I go for food and drink, but I thought, you know, adding a little thing like a hand cream is just super handy really and useful that they can throw in their handbag. So um, yeah, I've got the little Prosecco hand cream here and I just think it's quite nice. This would be a really nice stocking stuffer as well. Back, I picked up, as you can see from Asda, some hand cooked pigs and blankets crisps. I always try and find like Christmassy type crisps to throw in. Again, it's just this time of year, isn't it? And um, they were, I think, 85p for the bag. At the back, so we were actually given a really lovely hamper ourselves from Walker's, the brand. And this was a pack of mince pies that I know I, myself and Alistair wouldn't eat. Graham doesn't generally like mince pies and because it's got the malt whiskey in it, he definitely wouldn't like it anyway. But I thought these would be quite nice for the couple that I've chosen them for. Um, yeah, and they're scotch whiskey inside, uh, they're luxury and um, yeah, I mean mince pie is super festive anyway, isn't it? So I thought I would add them in, it saves them going to waste. And at the back I've thrown in a bottle of Prosecco. Here, this is just one particular one I've chosen, it is extra dry. And um, I think I picked this up from Sainsbury's. Don't quote me on that. I basically picked up a few bottles from different places because they're all on offer at the moment. But um, yeah, I know they love Prosecco. So that's why I chose that. Okay, a little random item. So I picked these up from Primark. This is basically like a little sack of socks. Just one, one uh, sock pair in there and there's a little hairband on there. I just thought they were really cute, festive, something different. I think these are about £1.50. And again, I think they'd quite like them, so that's why I put them in there. Little things, I picked up a little box of Lint Lindor, the chocolate balls. Oh my god, I absolutely love these. This uh, little box was from Sainsbury's and it was a pound. Back here I have put in a journal. This is a Ryman journal. I did recently a video uh, with lots of gorgeous products from Ryman and they had loads of lovely journals. Um, and I decided to put them in the hampers because I had quite a few and I really didn't need that many for myself. So I thought they would love this one. This one's sort of um, silvery and velvety. Um, yeah, so it's from the company Ryman. Last three items, I popped in the Blue Diamond Almonds. These are the smoked chipotle um, or chipotle. Uh, flavoured almonds. I thought they were just slightly different. I have not tried them myself, but 
but um, again, Asda had them all on um, kind of special offer, all the flavours for £1. Recently went to a Darcy's Candles event at someone's house and she did lots of homemade things. She did actually uh, make these homemade sort of um, Christmas decorations or whatever you want to call them, you could do anything with them. But basically she's wrapped up loads of little uh, melts in here, like candle melts. There's about three in there and she was selling them, uh, like a bulk of them for a few pounds. So I bought a few off her and I thought they would just be really nice and obviously lovely and homemade to put into a hamper. Lastly, I chose to put in Toffee Fee. These are like one of mine and Graham's favourite like treats. I usually get them from the pound store. Um, I can't remember where I actually picked these up from but I thought I would add them in. So that is pretty much that hamper and now I'm going to show you this one. It's very similar but there are a few different changes. So first of all I use this basket. I actually bought this last year. I think I may have picked it up in the sale like after Christmas. Um, Poundland or somewhere like that. Um, but I really like it. Obviously it's like Father Christmas's tummy and belt. I just thought it was quite nice, quite festive. Um, it's a little bit deeper so it's harder to kind of feel. That's the only thing I did find. But I actually put in lots of little things so I thought it would be quite a good size. Um, so I'm going to pull out the first thing which again was in the other basket was this um, hand cream. This one obviously is slightly different, it's got the penguin on, it's got the little um, nail file in the back and then the um, hand creams in the front. This is also from Home Bargains for a pound. I put in another one of these little homemade balls. So this one is... Um, has got different things in like she's um she's labeled them actually this one says snow fairies it's the different types of darcy's um wax melts in here so um yeah i put her another one of those in again we have some of the almond fused um almonds these are a different flavor i picked up the thai sweet chili to try i thought they would quite like them. then i put in a pair of socks these ones have um, Christmas trees on and Father Christmas. Again, I chose a pack of Toffee Fee and I also chose a little box of the Lint Balls. For alcohol, I actually went for these little bottles of um, wine. So this one is a Taylor's Port. They love a cheese board and I thought this would be really, really nice. It's just obviously a little mini size, um, but yeah, I just thought it would be something slightly different. I know they love red wine and they love port with cheese, so I thought that would be quite nice to put in there. But I also picked up a little bottle of white Sauvignon Blanc. Again, I know they like white wine, so again, it's just a nice little combination. So they've got two little bottles in there. And I put in a journal. This one is slightly sparkly. Again, it's from the Ryman company. I'll leave it linked in the description bar. Two items I put in the hand-cooked turkey and stuffing flavoured crisps from Asda. Again, these were 85 pence. Lastly, a box of Monty Bojangles Cookie Moon Truffles. I thought I'd pick up these ones because these are kind of one of our favourites as well. And that is pretty much everything I've put in the hampers for this year. Um, this is kind of like the stuffingy stuff. If you buy a hamper pack um, with the cellophane, it comes with like this kind of paper straw stuff. So I've organised them like I like they looked earlier. So it does take a little bit of working to try and get things weaved in each other to make sure you can kind of see most things. It's just trial and error. This one was definitely more testing because it's quite uh, long and not that wide. But um, yeah, so now I'm going to wrap them. This is what I'm going to do. Bring the four corners in. And I'm going to just stuff the bits in around. Put a little bit of ribbon around. You could wrap it with sellotape if you prefer. And then I'm going to use a gold bow. So these obviously are the bows that already come with it and these are super easy. So basically you find the end here, which would be the two ribbon ends, and then you find the little tab in the middle like that. And you basically just pull it through and it creates like a corsage type ribbon. They're all slightly different, but that 
is how it looks, which is quite, quite. Bring it round a few times. And what I usually do is I tie it off just once, like that, and then I will get my tag and I'll thread it on and then retie it like a double knot. So I just want to quickly show you the end result. So this one you saw me put together, I, you know, bought it up together, the cellophane. The uh, wrap itself is from Poundland and I added the little gold tag here. And then this one, uh, the wrap actually is from the works, but it wasn't big enough to like go into like anything up here. So I ended up just literally wrapping it over the top and sellotaping it underneath. The bow uh, was separate and this was also from Poundland. And then I added a little, I found rummaged around and I found this little silver tag. It's a bit sparkly. So um, yeah, that is pretty much the uh, hampers. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave all my previous hamper videos in the description bar if you fancy checking that out. If you're enjoying Vlogmas and I'm giving you a little bit of inspiration and a little bit of festiveness, yeah, so let me know if you are and I will see you all soon.